guys, so I was able to actually do some body weight exercises this week. Um, I'm kind of testing the waters as far as how my neck is feeling with simple, simple exercises. I talked to the doctor and I talked to a chiropractor and they said keep it very, very light for the next four to six weeks. And uh, the chiropractor actually said six to eight weeks to be sure. Um, he said you can come and see me after that time, but of course he said that right now you just need to um, to let it heal and let the bones and the fracture actually heal itself. Um, yeah, so I, I've been doing cardio this week and just Stairmaster, like super slow speed. I pop on some YouTube videos and I'm good. So that's been kind of nice to be able to just kind of check out with that, but still get my heart rate up. It feels good to actually get my heart rate up and, and get a little bit of a sweat on, which is a different, it's a good change from my normal just lift and rest and lift and rest. So I really, I really think that this injury is, is a blessing in disguise because I just, I wasn't resting enough and I'm sure that so many people in the fitness industry will tell you this, that we preach all the time for others to rest and recover. But when it comes to ourselves, we pretty much treat ourselves as the exception to the rule. Oh, everybody needs to rest because it's good for your body, but I can't. I need to do this. I need to get my powerlifting done. I need to climb. I have, you know, goals to hit. And, and so we don't apply that to ourselves. As terrible as that sounds and as stubborn as I can be, I think that this time is, is my body's way of saying, you need to rest. So I'm definitely doing that. Light cardio has been nice. Matt and I took the dogs out for a hike last week. So some of the exercises that I was able to do, um, I worked on some, uh, I did some TRX squats to see how squatting feels. Of course, I'm not going to add any weight. I did some Smith machine squats, uh, leaning back against the actual, the stationary Smith machine. Um, those seem to be okay. Uh, lunges, Bulgarian split squats, uh, step ups. I did some very, very light lateral raises just to get the shoulders moving, making sure not to put any strain on my neck, keeping form as perfect as I could. Uh, some modified V-ups, a little bit of core work, and some incline push-ups. Uh, I don't want to do any regular push-ups because I feel like that would put too much strain on my spine, so incline push-ups, so I have the bar, um, I use a stationary Smith machine, and I lean up on it. Uh, so yeah, just doing some body weight stuff and taking it one day at a time. I will have more updates for you guys following this clip, but yeah, some footage of my workouts. Things are going well. I'm recovering. I'm doing okay. I'm focusing on other things in life and more on my clients. So it's it's been eye-opening, but yeah, we're going to get there, guys. We're going to do this. friends already. <laughs> snake, snake, snake. Snake, snake, snake. Tell them! What? So yeah, Friday at 11 a.m. we're finalizing on the trailer. Yay! Everybody's so excited! Yes! Yes! Yep. <laughs> it's happening! It's happening! It's happening? It's happening! <laughs> I can't believe it's already so soon! Yay! Hey! <laughs> it's, it's just cool because we made this a goal. We exceeded our goal by a couple months. Making it happen. We said by April. So cool. I thought it was going to be like a, a few, four months after. I know we were hoping for possibly by the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you're going to hurt your neck like I did. We need to get real. Brady. <laughs> Yeah, we were thinking it's going to be like late summer. By the end of this year was our goal. And I think I told you all that in my last vlog. We made it happen. Mm -hmm. We made it happen. And it's not like we have all of this extra money to make it happen. We just figured out how to make it work. Yeah. Yeah, we figured it out. What are you doing? You happy? Yes. Happy? No! <laughs> Timber! Oh, 
see. No, no, no. 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 just a few remaining updates from this week. So my neck is getting better and better by the week. It's been two weeks since my injury. I'm still just doing light cardio. As you guys saw earlier in this video, I'm able to do some body weight stuff, some super simple things. I did also want to let you guys know, I'll elaborate more on this in a video coming up soon. I am going to be intuitively eating for a while. I'm just getting kind of burnt out on tracking my macros, especially with right now, I'm just resting. I'm not doing anything super intense, so I want to focus back on listening to my body and fueling it as I need to. One thing that I am doing is I'm using an app called Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen, and it's basically just a list of whole foods to try and get in each day, but basically you just look at getting whole grains, lots of veggies, your greens, fruits, um, things like flax seeds because of the omegas, so things like that. So instead of tracking, I highly, highly recommend looking into this app for yourself if you don't want to track your macros but you do want to focus on eating healthy. And yesterday I did hit, I believe, almost all of, of the actual nutrition sources and um, judging by about the volume of food, that is probably around my maintenance calories by default. So that is kind of nice to see. But I'm doing that and like I said, I'll elaborate more on this in a future video. But um, I'm going to see how my body responds to just whole food sources and not tracking my intake, eating intuitively, and I'm going to do that for quite some time. I'm not quite sure how long. But yeah, we go in, we're going to go in on Friday, I believe, and finalize everything with the trailer. They did say that we could pick it up as early as Friday. I don't think we're going to do that quite yet. We will be storing it at Matt's parents' house for the time being. Our lease isn't up until April with our current house. so. Um, we have about two months to get rid of stuff. There's a big garage sale that's going to be going on in March here in our neighborhood, a community yard sale, so we're going to get things together to sell for that. And then everything that we don't sell and that we don't need and we don't plan on taking with us, we are going to give away. So yeah, we've got some busy months coming up. I couldn't be more excited work, my online clients, everything is going so well. I'm working on an ebook called 90 Days of Consistency, where I basically teach you tracking macros. Um, I help you get set up with initial macronutrient intake, and then I'm going to be doing simple workouts, and it's something to help people that are, don't necessarily need an online coach, but they do want some kind of program and plan. It's going to be kind of a blanket program. It's not going to be super specific as far as exercises go, but just something to get you started and to get you going. And the goal is 90 days of consistency. So not perfection, but adhering to it for 90 days to see how you feel and how your body responds. So that's still kind of in the beginning phases. I'm working on the actual ebook itself and then I have to work on the workout. So it's gonna be a little while till that comes out, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up for that. I think that's it for updates right now. And of course I have my Q and A video coming on Friday. So if you guys have any specific questions you want included in either this week or next week's Q and A, make sure and leave them below. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up on this video. It does help out the channel, any type of engagement. So subscribing, uh, hitting that thumbs up and then leaving comments below, sharing the videos with friends, sharing it on Facebook, that all truly helps the channel. And as we get traveling and everything, I'm really gonna start focusing even more than ever on videos and providing better content for you guys and improving my skills and editing and, and all of that. So love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry if this video was a little everywhere, but that's kind of how our life is right now. So <laughs> that's what's going on. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all on Friday.